This core circuit starts off with the half Turkish getup. And when I say half Turkish getup, I'm referring from starting from the bottom and only going up to the top of the sit-up and then returning back down. So you come up to the elbow, you come up to the hand, and that's actually the end of it. Then you start coming back down. So we're really just segmenting the quarter getup, which is up to the elbow, and then popping up to the hand. And that's the whole thing right there. That is actually the half getup. A lot of people feel like this is the hardest part of the Turkish getup and the part that needs to be trained more often than the entire thing together. So what we're going to do here is five reps on the right, swing it around, and perform five reps on the left. Okay. Notice how I roll into it to get started. I'm packing both shoulders extremely tight, not just the one that has the kettlebell, but I'm packing the free arm too, the free shoulder. Okay. Five reps on each side. That is the first exercise in the circuit. There are going to be four of them. After this, we are going to move on to the kneeling windmill. In this version of the windmill, you're going to take a half kneeling position. Notice the lower body position here, how the rear leg is perpendicular to the front leg. And what I'm going to do is focus on hinging my butt out to the side to get down to the ground there. And I'm going to try to forearm the floor. If all you can get is just the palm, great. Uh, you're going to have to work on your mobility. It's going to take some time to get all the way down to the forearm like this, but this is the goal. It needs to be a hinge movement with the butt to get down there. Do not just side bend over to the side. Get the bell up. Notice my right arm just kind of stays at 90 degrees right there, and I'm going to try to forearm the floor. Hinging my butt out to the side. If I can kind of make contact with my fist lightly, it'll help guide me down. Being outdoors and staring up at the sky does make this a little more difficult. So I like having that guide with the forearm. Okay, this is the kneeling windmill and we're gonna do five reps on each side. All right guys, for the plank plus knee to elbow, I want your fingers pointing down and about an inch or two space in between your wrists so you don't roll this thing. And for extra uh, difficulty, we're gonna raise the handle up off the ground and try to have it pointing back. Okay, front works too, but I like back, it feels a little more balanced. Fingers down, handle off the ground. One. Straight down the center. If you've got it, rotate opposite knee to opposite elbow. Rotate opposite knee, opposite elbow. Don't move your head. Try not to move your belly button. Smash your stomach the entire time. Smart leg raise. Roll into it. Get this bad boy up. Thumbs around the horn so it doesn't fall on you. Hollow position, heads up. Arms locked, legs long, slow, pause before you come back up. That's one rep. Take your time, take your time, take your time, take your time. Two. Take your time on this one. It's called the Spartan leg raise. Four. I'm gonna do 10 of these. When I get to those last couple, I'm gonna really kind of pause. Just that inch off the ground right there, that's the sweet spot. Tight, tight. Ten. Another stretch for you guys is the overhead squat stretch. Check this out. One kettlebell in front of you, and I'm going to use it as an anchor to hold me down and lean back again so I can get this nice T-spine opening at the bottom of a deep squat. So I'm going to bicep curl the bell and put this elbow right in my, in my crotch right there so I can lean against it and then open up my T-spine. I'll open everything up, breathe a few times, long exhales. I reach through. And the kettlebell is just here to hold me down. So when I change sides, I just rotate it, wedge this elbow in there, and now this side's a little bit worse as you can see. A little harder for me to get straight. Probably should have done the side first.
Okay guys, core stuff is accomplished. Now let's go on to a finisher. Two exercises called a couplet. It's gonna be a burpee variation or sprawl variation. Uh, we're not gonna throw a push up on it uh, with the kettlebell. Immediately into the mace for 10 reps with the 360. Five reps of the burpee goblet high pull catch and then right in the mace. So five reps, 10 reps, five reps, 10 reps, five reps, 10 reps, done. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. Down. Two. Dunzo. Round three, guys, come on. 30 seconds break, that's it, let's go. One. If you are enjoying the unconventional fitness content here on YouTube, I invite you to check out what we have going on over at our website and online fitness training platform, lbkclub.com. This is where you will find dozens of full follow-along workouts, detailed instruction, programming, ranking charts, progress checks. Did I mention you're going to get me as a coach guiding you through this program? This is the exact same program I use for my students at Long Beach Kettlebell Club, one of America's oldest and most successful kettlebell clubs. You can get the same workouts and same benefits we have been getting out here in Long Beach for over a decade. You won't find this program anywhere else online because we made it through our own trial, error, sweat, and tears out here in Long Beach. 60 bucks a month, full access. We look forward to lifting with you.